what we've actually done is kind of re reinvigorated the board. We have new members, we have new initiatives. This year what we're really trying to do is just bring awareness. We want to let the people in Milton specifically know that we're here and we're here to make a change. Uh, one of the coolest things we're having up coming up shortly is in Emancipation Day weekend in, in Oakville, we're going to be having a little booth there, promoting our stuff, promoting our wares, giving away these buttons for our steel pan and really upping the ante in terms of the awareness. Um, also, on the 6th, 7th, and 8th of September, in the Milton Fairgrounds, we're actually going to be hosting a Caribbean night. So, uh, Street Eats Festival, brought to you by the same guys that put on the Mac and Cheese Festival. They're putting on a huge thing for the Caribbean Association as well, so we're partnering with them. We're going to have a section with vendors and food, steel pan, parang, and, you know, some fun as well. Also, some Carib beer is going to be selling. Why specifically Milton is the place where you guys are really trying to expand and be known? Well, you know, it's been in Oakville for so many years. And it really has its roots in Oakville, 43 years in Oakville right now. Right. Milton's a very booming community. There's a lot of young, young families here, a lot of Caribbean families here. And it's a great place to really bring those roots that are already in Oakville, plant them here as well, and then develop the CCH in a different place altogether. I mean, our goal is to make sure that we cover as much area as possible, that we bring in as much youth into our programs as well. So we have youth leadership programs as well that take place in Oakville, in the Oakville Police Station. We also have a number of larger initiatives. So Black History Month for 2020, we have plans for that already. We have Legacy Voices that we just launched. And Legacy Voices is going to be a, a small little uh, package that we put together of seniors from the Caribbean background. So they're going to be um, in Sheridan College, filming themselves, talking about their story, talking about their, their transition from uh, back home to here. And, you know, really trying to unify all of us together to show the others that, the, you know, this Caribbean community is very strong.